happy vlogmas day five so it is saturday morning we slept in a bit um i washed the sheets on the bed and we changed the sheets um slept in yeah, well, I slept a little bit. It was all like... All the way to 7.35? Something. That was... Yeah, all the way to 7.35. <laughs> it was nice to do that. Got dressed, and we are headed to Costco. Well, I can't even see us both in there. I'm going to do it this way. We are headed to Costco to change our membership from a executive membership to a business membership. Is that what we're trying to do? Yeah, I don't know. Because we need more cards for employees. So we're headed out to do that. We're probably going to get some lunch. Um... Anything else on your to-do list? No, nothing on my to-do list. Nothing on your to-do list. West and we waxation. West and we waxation. All right, so uh, this this might not be the most exciting vlog of the week. Um, you'd think that on the weekends we would be able to have more to do, but I think I just got the tailwind. I did. It's closed. We have a Teslas. Don't have a little thing on your visor or home link. Home link uh, to open your garage door. So Adam picked up and installed this little doohickey here. It's called, let me turn it right side up. It's called Tailwind. Where are you? It's a little puck um, and it stays in my car and he's got it set up so that when I pull into my driveway, it automat the garage door auto automatically opens up. And when we leave, what, like a minute and a half after we leave or something like that? It's a thousand thousand feet uh, th away from the house okay then the garage door automatically closes so um and yesterday remember i told you about the people throwing stuff in my garage well they hit the sensor of my garage door and i didn't know it so when i got home my garage door was open and had been open the entire time because they had bent the sensor so yeah uh, we just need to every time we're home shut the garage door even if that means we have to open the garage door a million times to let the dogs out, yeah. we just need to do that to keep them out of the garage. Right. But it's it's frustrating. I know a lot of you have chimed in with my vlog yesterday saying the same thing. So, anywho, um, I also want to pick up, I had forgotten to do this, and every time I was out, I got back home. I want to put my little thing that we've done for the last couple of years out front um, for the delivery people to pick a, a, a drink and a snack. And... Um, it's the 5th of this. It is the 5th, right? Today is the 4th. The 4th. Okay, but this is, for you, it's the 5th. Right. That's right. I'm telling y'all it's hard to keep track. I mean, it's already hard to keep track when your life is busy, and now you're trying to vlog a day in advance. So, today is the 4th, and I, right? Is that what Today's you said? Today's the 4th, but the vlog's going to be up on the 5th. This one, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm not too, too late to do this. And we get a lot of deliveries between our personal stuff and our um, business. We get a lot of deliveries, different, you know, at every delivery driver comes to the house. I mean, every, every brand of delivery driver comes to the house. We get a delivery at least once a day, usually three or four times a day, right? Yes. <laughs> um, some of that will change once we get the store open and a lot of those things will be delivered to the store. Um, and that will help cut down the chaos at the house and if the people actually make it to the front porch and put the packages exactly where they're supposed to be put they will be rewarded and thanked with a snack and a drink so i'm going to get that set up this afternoon and once i get that done i'll show you that i've done it every year for the last two or three years i think three maybe three yep so and last year it was even more because of the pandemic and you know the the and this year too so the last two years to me the most important i'm thankful for what they do all the time and we usually like our ups driver last year we gave got him and his wife a gift card to go out to dinner so and he's awesome he's now in another city and he's retiring but he actually had said that once um he retires from ups he wants to come work for us so i'll probably take him up on that all right, guys, we'll check in a little bit later. Okay, so we are waiting. We're going to um, go into Clean Eats for lunch, and we're waiting for Emily and Connor to get here. So while we wait, Adam is playing, what's it called, Beach Buggy Racing? Yeah. So you've got video games that you play in the car. Can I, I can't zoom out any further than this. So it's counting down. <laughs> okay. I've never played it before, so I knew it. Oh, this is horrible. You have to hit the brakes, too. Oh, no. You're in the water. Okay, okay. I don't know. I'm going backwards somehow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, here we go. You're hitting birds. I know. Poor birds. Wow. And this is why I don't like you driving, baby. Right? <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got some points or something. Something. You only got half a lap. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, I'm, doing, I'm doing terrible. If I was 12, this would be super easy. Yeah, but when they're playing, when they're 12, they're not using a real car steering wheel. Uh, okay. It's a little square thing they hold in their oh hand. Oh my gosh, I, what is going on here? I feel like my reactions are way off from the game. Oh, you should have gotten the exclamation point. No. Oh, you missed that. Was... Oh. Are you having fun? No. <laughs> <It's> stressful. <laughs> well, he made second place. It Did wasn't, you know? it was not pretty. It was not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> beach Bro is now available in the driver's list. Your Beach Bro? I don't know. I think it's like you, I've, we've unlocked okay. something. So he's he's charging. See, he's got his Tesla and he's at a Tesla charging station. He is. On an island. Here's what I don't know how to do is get out of here. Um. And all right, so I don't know if you can see the pile on my bed, but this is going to be, uh, I'm gonna quickly go through my handbag collection. I will tell, be able to tell you probably the designers, but I'm not gonna be able to tell you the style of each bag. And this is just gonna be handbags. This is not going to include wallets or you know SLGs. So um, right now they're all in dust bags and I don't even remember what half of them are, so Maybe this is a good time to do a little clean out, decide what I wanna keep, what I wanna sell, what I wanna give away, all right? All right, guys, I have no idea how to do this. I've got a giant pile of handbags, totes, um, purses, whatever you wanna call them on the bed. They're all in their bags, and I'm probably going to have to fast forward is what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm not gonna go in any particular order. Originally, I was gonna go by the things that were, you know, brand name versus buying on Amazon or whatever. Um, all of the ones that are designer, whether they be Givenchy, um, Louis Vuitton, and I don't have a whole lot of those. Um, well, I have more Louis Vuitton. I don't think I only have one Givenchy and I have one Chloe and I have one. Anyway, I don't have any knockoffs is what I'm trying to say. So um, some of these I've never been used. So like this one right here, this is still got its little protective cover for the chain. Uh, you can't pull the whole thing out, but it would do this. It would do the same thing on both sides. This is just a little crossbody. This is by Etienne Agner, I guess. Um, this is the Lana shoulder bag, and I don't even know where I got this. I want to say Dillard's. I don't know, but it is. I guess I bought it for something, and I never ended up using it. So, I guess I'll do is I'll put that one up here grab this one is by rebecca minkoff i want to say this is like the horse feed bag or um i think it's called a feed bag i don't really remember it's not very big but it is rebecca minkoff so there's bag number two so these are I, I used to change my purses regularly. Um, I don't do that as much anymore. I have a couple that are my absolute favorites. Um, the one I'm carrying right now, which is not even in here, is in the kitchen. It's a Louis Vuitton. Um, I have a couple that I rotate through the most. This one is by Furla. I do remember getting this at Dillard's off their little clearance section, but I thought it'd be really cute for a night out and it still has its tag on it. it. Has a chain strap, and I still think that's really cute. You know, just need the opportunity to use it, but I do think that's really cute. So I'll bring that one a little closer. There's no outside pockets. It just has a cute little snap closure here. By the way, Emily's on her way over. She just called me, so we may have to pause once she gets here. And I got this one on clearance for, well, the clearance price was $149, so it's not like that was a super big clearance deal. Maybe it was a percentage off on top of that, I don't remember. I 
have tote bags. This one's from Charming Charlie. Emily gave me this one. It's got little lemons all over it. That's really good for like going to the beach or whatnot. Um, I also have this little, this one is by Coach. I've almost gotten rid of this several times. It's a nylon bag, but I have a, a hot pink wallet, a Coach wallet that I use with this as well. It's been years since I've used it, but I still like it. It has a little pouch that snaps in, I believe. Yeah, it snaps in on the sides right here. And then you have that little pouch. I don't know, I still think it's cute. It's still something I can use. Be great for cruising. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that. And honestly, when you're selling something like this on Poshmark, you're not gonna make much off of it. So I'd rather just keep it. This came in one of our bags. Oh, this is from Draper James. I tag is still on it. I never used it. It's just a little straw bag. Maybe I'll use it next spring. Um, this came in one of the boxes I get. It's a Vince Camuto little tote. That would be good for carrying my laptop to and from work. You know, once I'm once the store is open and I have to leave on a regular basis. So, and I have a couple like totes like this. I have a blue suede one that I love that I've carried for years. Oh, this one I didn't realize it has a black stripe down one side. I'm just, literally just trying to get rid of the stuff that's right here so I have room to work. Um, one of these little circle straw bags. I've worn this on a cruise. I want to say once or twice, and that's about it. So. That's good for summer. All right, you guys have seen this one. This is by Madewell. I can't remember what it's called, but, um, and there is a little matching wallet in this one that should go in my little wallet drawer, but it's the Madewell medium transport tote. That's what it is. And the strap I got off of Amazon, it comes with a little leather crossbody strap. All right, now we're getting some room here. Now we're into coach. I, like I said, it's not going to be done by brand. It's not going to be done by, okay, this is a Cassie. I do really like this bag. I told you I have a couple of bags that I rotate between mainly Louis. Um, my petite, uh, my Louis Vuitton petite, petite machis. Oh my gosh. Petite, mach my gosh, my, my brain has stopped. This is the coach version of that. And I think coach came out first. This one's in black. It's got plenty of room on the inside. We'll be absolutely keeping this purse. I probably need to trans. It's time to use it. I forgot I had it. But what I love about these with the top handles, it's a crossbody. So you've got a crossbody, but you want to go take it off. It's just so simple. Reaching over to the, the, the passenger side to get your bag, you have that handle. I do really like this bag. So that one will be staying with me. This is kind of a refresher because they... They all have a space in my closet, but being in dust bags, it's hard to remember what I've got. All right, let's do another coach. Okay, this is more for dress. This one doesn't have a chain on it right now. The chain is in my little accessories wallets drawer. I have a um, the coach chain that goes with this. I want to say this is the tabby, but I don't think that's right. Don't think that's right. I do keep some stuff. I don't remember what this one's called. Nope. This one's just stuffed with the paper, but there's no tag on this one, so I can't really remember what this one's called, but it does have the outside pocket. This is great for weddings and whatever. You can wear it as a clutch. You can wear it crossbody with the chain. You can actually take the chain and double it underneath here and make it a little creak hook of your arm or shoulder bag. So, but I, I do really like this one and I'll be keeping this one as well. Right, another coach. This one I got at the end of spring off of Poshmark and I have not used it yet. Um, but it's so stinking cute. Isn't that cute? I love the color. The, um, this is the small twin bucket bag by Coach. It has a crossbody strap as well. It's got silver hardware and a little zip pocket here in the middle and these magnetically snap on both sides of this. This is a smaller bag, but you know, when you want a color and the regular price of this one was $344 and 99 cents. I don't remember what I paid on Poshmark, but I do like the fact that it has a little shoulder or the little crook of the arm. So we'll be keeping this. 
it's when I decide to sell a bag or hand down a bag to somebody I know, hold on, there's thought put into that because I put thought into the bags that I want and I, I yes, I have quite a few bags and they're all different varieties, different makers and whatever, but I have to really be tired of it or just not love it for me to sell it. Um, and there's been a few that I've just been tired of and that I find that I'm not pulling for that I have sold on my Poshmark. All right, here we have a Tory Burch. Uh, I like this bag. I think I got this one off of Poshmark if I'm not mistaken. So um, it's just a tote with a big center zipper. A lot of storage in this one. But there's, this is not a crossbody. This can be done over the shoulder or however you want to wear it other than crossbody. So I do really like this bag too. And I love the color. That will be staying with me. And I need to stuff that one. In fact, give me one sec. Okay, I've been collecting the little bubble bags as they've been coming in. So I'm going to stuff while I'm thinking about it since I'm going to be putting them away from here. I don't want to open the bags and do it again. Most of my bags already had stuffing in them. Otherwise, there's something that came and I haven't had it long enough or I forgot to stuff it literally. All right, Tory Birch. There. Here's another coach. Oh, let's do this one. This is another Madewell transport bag, medium transport bag, color olive. I got this one off of Poshmark as well. Now the other one I paid full price for from Nordstrom. This one I got off of Poshmark, but the, the edges of this were worn. So I just got some green shoe polish and fixed it myself. And I have the little camo strap on here. Again, got the little good car, guitar strap from Amazon. Same, I don't have bags for these. Why is this making me out of breath? All right, maybe it's because I'm trying to hurry because I don't want this to be a super, super long. All right, another, oh, I've had this one. I believe this one is actually is the tabby. Um, this one has gone camping with me. Um, it is a crossbody or all of these different straps come off of this bag. This would have been great for fall. Has a nice big cell phone pocket on the back, like gunmetal hardware. It's so dark in there, you can't really see. This one doesn't really need to be stuffed, but I do really like this bag too. And it's a unique color blocking. So this one I got brand new from Coach online. I probably need to do something different with that strap, don't I? I got a lot of Coach. I don't sell them very often. Uh, the Coach... I've, I've sold a few Louis. I've sold one Gucci. I've sold a few, quite a few Louis and one Gucci. And I sold some coach bags um, years ago. Can't get that to go back down. There we go. Alrighty. This is all going to collapse in just a second. All right, we have another Rebecca Minkoff. This one is a suede. Um, chevron bag. It is kind of a camel-y, almost green camel -y bag. Um, you have your outside pocket. This chain, sorry, can double up for your shoulder or be long for crossbody and lots of storage on the inside here. Yeah, I like this bag too. Let's see if I can pull these into the bag. Yep, that's that one. I don't know how else to do this type of a video because I'm not, I don't I have no idea. It's from Rebecca Minkoff. I have no idea what the style of, of that is. So, um, this is another made well. This is the small, um, what I said, transport bag. This one's in calf hair. And it's just a smaller, but it's also a zip top crossbody with a pocket in the front. I need to get some just plain bags, I guess, to put them in. Here's another coach bag. Tell me this is not the one I just did. 
All right, this one still has its tag on it. It is the same as the one I showed you a moment ago with the little, this one's got gold hardware. It's a tabby as well, but this one is an oxblood and I've not worn it yet. This is the Jax, J-A-X. It's the pebble tab. The color is Jax, I know it's oxblood. So there's that one. I feel like I should just hang them all so the straps don't get all twisted up. I'm gonna, when I go to put these away, I'm gonna do them, I'm gonna probably go through all these bags, clean it up a little bit more. So I just won't worry about how they're bagged right now. All right, this one is by Kate Spade. All right, I remember getting this one. I've had this one for several years. This is kind of a pink mauve color, some chain, some, this is like a soft gold, and it is a tote has a matching wallet and card case, which not should not, I mean, I guess I don't mind keeping, if I'm only gonna use it with this one, then I'll just stop. Sorry, work. Um, there's quite a bit of storage in this one too, and it does have the magnetic snaps at the top as well. So, and it has a little K for Kate Spade here. I've had this one for several years. It also has feet. All right, this one I bought, I think this is a backpack actually. Don't think I've ever worn it. It is real leather. It's by Kama Project. I want to say it's handmade, but it is a backpack style bag. You cannot use it either, any other way. It's literally attached this way and you have a handle here. So um, it still smells brand new. Zipper. You can see it's just, it's, this is, reminds me of my mom, something my mother would carry, but it's cute. I have not used it yet. I don't know when I would, still has the tag attached to it. Okay, I'm starting to sweat. Guess blood pressure goes up when you're playing with your purse collection. <laughs> Did we already done this one? Yes, okay. Here we have another Tory Birch. This is a small, this is also a crossbody, but it is also a tiny little tote. You can take the little crossbody off and there's your storage and there's a wallet in there too i okay now i will use the same wallet like my my louis wallets i'll use that in just about any bag i wear unless i have a matching wallet to me this is a nice tiny little wallet that fits right down in here um i don't think there's anything else in here but i think this one's really cute too so again all i know is this tory birch and it does have a crossbody strap so not a clue and no feet on the bottom of this one. Say so we're more than halfway done. This one is by Kate Spade. I don't think I've worn this one ever. Nope. But when I bought it, I think it was on clearance. Is that not adorable? I should wear this. It's got big, so it's like this on the inside, has a crossbody strap that's still attached to it. And the crossbodies go right inside on these little hooks on both sides of here. I think it's on this side too, right? Yes. Then you have your center zip. So there's, oh, and here's the matching wallet. I didn't even know I had this. See, this is why I needed to do this. I should have done this a long time ago when y'all first started asking, but that's really pretty. Why have I not used this? Looks like the retail price of this is $399 and it does have feet. Why have I not used this one? It's really cute. I need to pull that one out. All right, here's a Louie. This is Pochette Matisse. My Louis Vuitton reverse Pochette Matisse. This and my Neverfull PM, which I think is the smallest one, are my two favorite Louis that I own right now. 
This bag has been used and used and used and used and used. I love this bag. This, I was telling my husband, of all my Louis, this one and the one I'm currently carrying that's in the kitchen are the two that I don't think I could ever part with. So, love this bag. I need to go turn the vacuum off because he's coming in here. All right, so I saved you some time and put away that bag on my, on my own, but that's one of my favorite bags that I own. Now this one is by Givenchy. This is, I honestly cannot remember sugar. I don't remember. It has silver hardware. It's in the color Oxblood. I, it's like the, it's on the tip of my tongue. I like the, the what the style of this one. What this one is. Um, this one has a crossbody that is still. In its wrapper, isn't that gorgeous though? I mean, look at the details on this. I need to pull this one out. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna switch out of my PM today and wear this one for a while. See if I can show you down the side there. I do not have a matching wallet for this, so I would just put my Louis in here. For some reason, I want to say it starts with an A. Can't remember, but. I do love this bag and I just think it is classy as I'll get out. Almost looks like a bowling ball bag, but it's smaller. Has a heart, these uh, has feet on the bottom, but they're leather feet. What is this called? I uh, believe it or not, I did know the the which which one this was. I'm gonna leave this one out because I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna trade into that. Alright, you guys have seen my Chloe bag. I got this, I wanna say two years ago. Um, I have a scarf wrapped around the handle right now this one is i do really like this bag there is a big roomy pocket on the back it is crossbody you can carry it in the crook of your arm um, it does have a bit of a finicky you got to learn to do it and it's been a minute since i've done it and it's empty so it's going to be harder to do it. and i need to put the bubbles in this one there's oh, i had it there we go it's like a down out situation, but this is a gorgeous bag. And it's kind of a honey color. It's a, it's a brighter, so we'll take these. Oh, there's only one with air left in it. So we'll use this one and put it down in the front of this one. So yes, that is my Chloe bag. You've seen this in the past. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to of that little clip, but it is a classy bag. I won't be parting with this one. And my bags range in price. I mean, I've got some bags that were given to me. Um, I've got bags that were um, gifts. I've got bags that I got on sale or at outlets. Um, actually, I don't think I have anything here. That's, I think everything I ever bought at an outlet, I sold on Poshmark. They were the bigger coach bags that I found I was never using. All right, some of these bags are bags inside bags. So this is the, I want to say Aina. Am I saying that right? Alina, Alina, something like that. Um, Louis, big front pockets. What do I have inside? Oh, this has got the, see now I have a drawer full of all these SLGs. So I kind of forget that I have, this is the small little makeup pouch of this. And I have an organizer inside of this one. Um, I got this one with a wallet, the makeup pouch, a charm, but that charm is actually on the bag I'm carrying right now. And I do really like this one because it's one of the few that I have that has a big zipper in the front. And I think it's the only one I have in this color scheme. So the dummy I've been, dummy, dummy Azur. Yeah, I think, am I saying that right? Again, it's not, I go for what I'm attracted to. So I want to make sure that all of my little things are hanging straight so we don't get curled up. I'll be keeping this one. All right, I think this, this has two Louis in it. Um, this is the petite, oh, the, I'm sorry, the never full. MM? The GM is the biggest, right? I don't have the biggest one. I think it's too big. So in here, got that one with the monogram that's red on the inside. 
And then you all saw that I got this one. Honestly, I cannot remember what this one was called with the pink, and I still love it. Um, is there anything in this one other than bags? Nope. So sometimes I stuff a bag with a bag. Somewhere I have more Louis Vuitton dust covers, so I'm just going to leave this to the side and see if I can find it. Put that up there. Are we getting close? What do we have in here? All right, we got Gucci. I've got two Gucci bags, I think. This one, I could not tell you what it is. Um, it's kind of a pink beige, big on the inside there. And this comes with a tassel here. It's, I forget the color too. It's, it's a beigey pink color and there's a specific word for it. Um, it can do this type of thing if you wanted to wear it crossbody. I have not worn it crossbody. It is one that I usually wear like this. It's quite comfortable on your shoulder actually. So, but that's, don't remember the name of that one. Sorry. I've had this one for about three years, I think. My other Gucci. Now I just recently sold, this is a Soho. Um, I just recently sold my gold one and kept the pink beige one. You guys, I'm sure everybody has seen one of these. I think I hear Emily's car. So those are the two Gucci's I have because I wasn't ever pulling for my gold one, so I sold it. All right, we have another Tory Burch. This one I think I got off Poshmark. Um, this is a, a unusual color. It's kind of like a mushroom. A, a stone, kind of a gray beige, grayish-ish. And it has the nice big pocket on the back. It has the Toy Birch logo across the top. It can be worn crossbody, or you can pull that up like this. This is an easy bag to carry, big opening. <laughs> Everybody say hi! <laughs> she came over here to ship something out Poshmark because she doesn't have any um, boxes or bags or anything. Nope. The, ki the, do the kids. The dogs are running around the camera, so you're probably going to wobble here in a second. And I'm going to give you those jeans, too. This light is intense. It is. It takes a second. I was squinting for the first couple of minutes. So really is like... Let me get her situated, and then we'll finish going through my handbag. So all we have left is the stack over there. Oh. Anything you're getting rid of? Not yet. Oh, okay. All right, so Emily just left. I got her situated, got her Poshmark stuff done, and sent her home with some shipping supplies. So that won't be a problem for her anymore. Although I do love her coming over here anytime she wants to. But anyway, I think we had finished with this um, Toy Birch little bag before she came over. So this is a unique color, um, color that I don't have much of. That being said, I have this Teddy Blake that was sent to me for review last year that I love as well. And it is a close color. It's close. But this one is suede. Um, you take these off like this and you open up the front and I have a bubble inside there. But I also have a matching wallet that matches this smooth gray leather. So that's my Teddy Blake. And I don't think I have a dust bag for this one. Okay. These are a little more difficult to close, but I still do it. And there are little metal feet on the bottom of this one. All right, this one is a sentimental one. Um, this is not real leather or anything, but my daughter gave this to me when she was a teenager and it's got my initials on it and you just, it's got a little clasp here. And it's quite roomy. I mean, you see how many little pockets are in here? I think she gave this to me for my birthday or for Christmas or something one year. And I will keep it forever because of that. But it is a little crossbody and it is an adjustable strap. And I think it's, it's absolutely adorable. So, yeah, that was sentimental there. Okay, uh, another bag. I believe I got this one off of Poshmark as well. I have not used it yet. This is a recent purchase. It is a navy blue coach 
um, with a wine colored on the inside, big zipper here, and that's actually the front. So yeah, everything is still on it, but and it's a little dusty. I need to dust this one. I need a bigger dust bag for this one. This one didn't come with a dust bag. All right, we've done these. All right, we've got a Dooney. I purchased this one from the Dooney site uh, a couple of months ago, six months ago or so. And it is also a crossbody. It's still in its, it's still in its little tag. Here is the crossbody strap. And I got a little bitty baby wallet to go with it. So I'll bring that a little closer. I think that's the only Dooney I have. They were having some sort of a special and I thought it was really cute. So I need to maybe rearrange so that I can reach these easier and know what's what. I know what this looks like because it is the only Dooney I own. All right, what's this bag? This one came from Fashion File or it's a bag, the dust bag from Fashion File that I put another bag in. Let's find out. Nope. I bought this bag, so it must be just a bag I had. Um, this is also Rebecca Minkoff. Um, I think you've seen this one too. It's just a gray beige colored tote. It has a nice big, uh, I bought this one straight from Rebecca Minkoff. So um, big open on the inside. I guess I'm just using that bag as a dust bag. I wonder if I could stuff more than one purse in this bag. This one needs air bubbles too. All right, we'll put that one to the side. We have Brahmin. I think I have two Brahmin bags, if I'm correct. Dexter's carrying on his blanket like, what's his name did? Uh, Linus from Snoopy. This one's really pretty. It is, I think, croc look. Um, and I have a matching wallet. I think it's in here as well. Yes. So it is, I think I have two, I think I have two Brahmin bags. But this one also has the outside cell phone pocket. And I think it's really pretty. I don't use it very often, but I do. It's really soft. It's kind of like one of the, uh, the out, of si out of sight, out of mind situations. I think it's beautiful. Again, I'm kind of all over the board on brands. Um, here's my other Brahmin. This one, um, I don't use as often. I feel like it's more specific to time of year. Jeez. But it's stinking cute too. So it's got this little, it's got like little trucks on it and palm trees. Um, matching wallet, of course. And it is also a crossbody. So it's unique. It's something different than what I've got. And you can see there's plenty of room in there. Plenty of room. So that's a unique bag. I feel like that would be really cute for vacation. That and the straw bags. I think those are the only two Brahmins I have. I don't have any Michael Kors anymore. I think I've sold all my Michael Kors. Um, I think Emily has sold all her Michael Kors except for one. All right, this is a giant bag. So I'm going to take a bigger coach bag and put it in this. You're seeing the side of my head the whole time, aren't you? Oh, I used to carry this thing all the time. It's kind of a lipstick pink bag with silver hardware. Also a crossbody, can be used as both. I think there's a wallet in here too. Well, it's a little, like a little clutch wallet. Yep. That probably needs some air bubbles as well, but I used to carry that regularly. I think it's the only pink bag I have. So that's pretty, that'd be pretty for spring. So I think what I'm gonna do is rearrange, put that maybe this inside of that and then inside the big coach bag. All right guys, down to two, down to two. Here's another, this is an old school coach. It's one I've had for years because they don't use these bags anymore. And this one is Oxblood. Used to carry this one all the time too. I actually really like it. It has a double zip on the top. And then the center also opens. So you have three different compartments in here. I don't think this one has a matching wallet. If it does, it would be in my, whoop, in 
in my little accessories drawer that's in my closet. So, yeah, I like that one too. And I could take these off and use the gold chain with this one as well if I wanted to. So I have the coach, I have some coach accessories that go with the different bags. All right, then the last one. Oh, it's a Michael Kors. Never mind, I do have a Michael Kors. All right, I remember this one. How about that color? How about that color? It's like a cherry red, a, a watermelon red or a strawberry red. I think there's a wallet in here. A little bitty wallet. The tag is still in it. And honestly, I think, I guess maybe I have not worn it. Maybe I got this at the outlet years ago. Maybe. Does this sound like there's money in it? Okay, I had to use this because there's change. A whole 45 cents in the wallet. So never mind, I have worn it. I guess I just didn't take the tag out of it when I wore it. That's bizarre. But yeah, that's the only Michael Kors one I've got. There's a little outside pocket here and a little outside snap pocket here. I don't think that would hold the phones that we have now. Um, and there's a couple of little pockets on the inside. So that's the only Michael Kors. And then this is the bag that I'm currently carrying, the Louis Vuitton, um, my gosh, Neverfull PM in Damia, Damia Ben. I get those two mixed up. See, that's just, I mean, that's not my forte. And then you can see there's, I have a bunch of the little toiletry or like, toiletry bags, accessories and whatnot inside of there. So this bag I carry regularly. I love this bag. One of the things that I'm kind of anal about, my bags never touch the ground. They never touch the ground in my house and my house is clean. They never touch the ground in my car. I have a hook on the back of my seat that holds my, if, if I'm not, the, if I'm the one that's, if I'm driving by myself, it goes in the passenger seat. If there's someone in the passenger seat, I put it on the hook behind my headrest. Um, when we go to a restaurant, it's always on my chair, sitting beside me, it never touches the ground. And even when people come into my house and they put their, like they take their purse and put it on my kitchen table, I freak out and I'm disinfecting the table because think about where you're setting your bags, ladies. When I go into a public bathroom and I see the woman next to me with her, it doesn't matter what kind of handbag it is, but especially designer ones, I lose my mind. They're sitting on the floor of a bathroom stall in a public bathroom. How disgusting, how disgusting, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. That is disgusting. I'm so sorry. That's why when I do purchase off of Poshmark, they have tags on them because I know that this bag has never been used and it's never sat on the floor of a bathroom. It never has. So I, I'm not sure I've ever purchased a used bag off. Let me think. That may not be a true statement. That may not be a true statement. I can't think of it straight off the top of my head right now, but that may not be a true statement. I think I have used, purchased a used bag, but most of the time when I bring my bags in, they're either brand new or, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Don't put your floor, your bags, any of your bags. I don't, I don't care if it's a bag from Target. Don't put it on the floor of the bathroom, yuck. All right guys, I'm gonna clean this mess up. That is what I own handbag wise. Um, I don't know if it's a ridiculous amount. It probably is to some of you and probably some of you are going, oh, that's nothing. You should see mine. So I've seen some crazy collections where nothing was less than a Louis Vuitton. So that's not my case. I don't go just for Louis. I don't go just for, I have my higher end bands, bags, but I also have some bags that I love just as much that are not quite as, as spendy. So, all right. I don't know how long I've been talking now, probably forever and ever and ever. Um, I'm going to take a break and at some point we will do the advent calendars. You want this? Oh, it's all good. My small good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna do advent calendars a little early today so I can get this video edited and uploaded and have the evening for free with Adam. And this is the back of everything. So are you afraid of me? She's afraid since I dropped it that day. All right, so we're doing five, right? We're looking for number five. Oh, where's number five? 
What is number five? Here it is. Indigo. I don't know who's first this time. We have a brown cookie. You want to go first, Jax? That's for you. You're going to get one too, baby boy. Indigo, come here. Indigo, come see mama. Come on. Come on, baby. Indigo, come. Indigo. Indigo, come here. Come here. Come on, baby. Oh, you boy. Come here, Indigo. Indigo, come here, baby. I know. You're just waiting patiently. Your turn. Come here, baby. Indigo, come. Indigo, come. There you go. <laughs> All right. One more. One of us. Where's the Jackson or the Dexter Meister? So you've been waiting so patiently. This one's for Dexter. <gasps> this is a good boy. Hey, watch those fingers. Yeah. All right. Day number five is in the books. I'm gonna have to bake them like a big, oh, next Tuesday is Jaxie Bear's third birthday. So I've got a big, a cupcake for him Monday. I'll do that on Monday and get his little birthday party that he and I are gonna do together on Tuesday. So, all right, I'm gonna take you upstairs. Are you gonna do your event calendar or are you want me until later to do yours? Later? Later. Okay, so I'll go do mine and then we will say goodnight. So I get this video ready for you guys tomorrow. So give me just a second. Okay, so Adam has decided I can go ahead and film him finding day two on his advent calendar. I know he's behind. He's gonna try to catch up tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna film them all. They're getting ready to watch the Georgia Alabama game. Is the SEC championships? Yes. Clearly I'm not a big football person, but you know, I still want Georgia to win. All right, what you got? Hoamet Weissbeer. What? Uh, yeah. Hoamet Weissbeer. Mm -hmm. Hey, but you know what? These are things you've never tried before, so. Right. Cracker oven. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good? Yep. Very good. What, Dexter, you want some? No, none for the dog. <laughs> Okay, we are going to start with the ritual of Advent. So let's put you down over here. Probably just saw up my nose. Okay, let's find, oh, number five is right here in the front. Oh, you're way too high. Here is number five. The second Sunday, it's another candle. It says light this candle on the second Sunday of December for a merry moment of pure tranquility with the warming scent of imperial rose. So it is a candle. And it does smell like rose. There we go. I have a lot of candles to burn you guys. So I need to put them in order because tomorrow is the first Sunday and I need to burn this one tomorrow. So that's what we'll do. Maybe I'll just put a little Sharpie with like one, two, however it goes. That's the Jasmine. The first one was the Jasmine. All right, so that is the Rituals of Advent. Put my little house back in here. It's just so cute. I mean, to come in here and see this little set up here, it's just, it's really, really cute. I am gonna turn off the light though, because it doesn't have a timer. So we'll set that there, and then we'll walk over here and turn on some lights so we can see what we got. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna put you over here. I just left, knocked over a lip gloss. It's the Fenty Beauty, the shimmery one. Sometimes I just like to put a little gloss on. You can look like I've been glossing. We've been running around and man, I just going through the handbags was like a workout for me. So let's do the Veluspa because it is right here. This one will be done on the 12th. After that, we'll be down to four calendars. So we are at number five. What do we have? Ooh, look at that color blue. <gasps> yes, this is the Moss Bamboo. I'm sorry, Moss, Mosso Bamboo. What did I say? Can you read that? There we go. That color right there is my all time favorite. I mean, just it's all, it's got a tint of teal. Oh my goodness. That's really nice. I'm gonna put that one in my bathroom there put five back inside the box and we'll go to the by terry calendar and find oh today i used the eyeliner and the mascara and i liked them both 
The mascara, it took several coats. I liked how it individualized each to eyelash, but it did take several coats for them to look a little bit thicker. I really liked it. And the eyeliner itself had a little bit of sparkle to it, so I really liked it. I would zoom you in, but then you would see all my wrinkles, right? All right, so I have been using some of the things in this calendar. So we're looking for the number five, which is right here, the bigger one. Okay, there we go. We have a mask. Let's see. This is the Balm de Rose Glowing Rose Mask. I'm not going to open it, but maybe we'll give this a shot tonight. Put that there. Slide that down there. Now we're going to the Dr. Barbara Sturm. And I have to look at the name every time I say it. I don't know why. I'm. And by the way, I did Google the um, serum. It's super, super hydrating. I, it said something about being for darker skin tones. It's not gonna make any difference in the world if you get dry skin. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. Um, I'm using it and I really like it. It's very, very hydrating. So it doesn't make any difference in my opinion. All right, so let's find the number five. Here we go, right here. And this is a face mask. That's two masks. <laughs> two masks. I've got so many masks though, guys. Sometimes I look at the amount of makeup and skincare items I have and even hair care items that I'm thinking, in my lifetime, can I use all of this? You know, I mean, there's, you, I, all the, the newest best thing comes out and you're thinking, oh, that's got to be the bomb. And then you put it on and your face gets tired of it or it just doesn't work as, and you buy the next one. So that is a half empty cream. I've actually been trying to use up some of the stuff that is maybe not my favorite, just you know, get rid of some of the ones that were half empty. And I'm doing okay. I'm doing a little collection of empties and I've got it hidden behind a door so it's not in my face. I am one that doesn't like clutter. So keeping it has been a little more difficult. It's the, my basket's pretty full. So during this, during Vlogmas, I will add mine. I will do my empties and it's not like an empties and favorites. It's just an empties in general. And it's not my empties for this month. It's a collection over time. So anyway, this is a face mask. Um, Bob, Dr. Barbara Strum did it again. Sturm molecular cosmetics face mask. And I bet it has a little, no scent. All right, so that's two masks we have. There's a gnat. Where are these gnats coming from? And then our last advent calendar is this big old box. I don't want to knock the candles off. Honestly, just having these big boxes sitting around waiting for me to do this, to me, is clutter. I know what's in here is fun and stuff, but just having these extra things, just it's not my normal daily things in my life so it feels like clutter this is going to go in front of that so let me open this side oh it happens to be on this side right here and we have an ocean mist hair cream such a juan such a juan ocean mist hair cream is it like a Set that down there. It is it a, don't know what it is. It creates volume, the sticker, the, the seal sticker is over the explanation of what it is. It says, Satcha Juwan Ocean Mist Hair Cream creates volume and lift to your hair. Okay, so it's a styling cream. So perfect for having the look and feel when your hair your hair gets after a day at the beach. Okay, so it's gonna be like a salt spray type of effect is what my, I'm going to assume with that. So I'm not gonna open that right now. This might be great for next summer, but that is it. That is day number five, Vlogmas day five that I'm completing at four o'clock in the afternoon. And this just gives me time to get this up and then some hours before bed to shower, eat dinner and all of that fun stuff. So I hope you guys had a very happy Saturday and or yes, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not going to worry about days of the week. I'm just going to say this is Vlogmas day five because it's going up for you on Sunday. So have a happy, happy day. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow.